Right, today we're going to look at the, I can't say it, Lyxen, L-E-I-X-E-N, I think that's right, it's probably Lyxen or something. Um, Two-way radio, this is a VHF UHF transmitter, it's been, uh, it's been given to me to test by another amateur, Mick, G0LDB, and uh, he asked me whether I could just quickly put this through its paces, it purports to be able to put out uh, 5, 10 and 25 watts. Um, uh, so we, sh we shall see, we shall just quickly unbox it and uh, and give it a, a, a little blast through the power meter. And this is what you get in the box, little instruction book. There's the radio itself which you'll see is quite small. You get a cigarette lighter adapter, microphone which has the Kenwood type adapter, uh, Yaesu type adapter on, on, on it there. I believe it's compatible with those microphones as well. And there is a, a USB lead for programming. And microphone clip and a mounting bracket because these are sort of more made for vehicle mounting. Just quickly, this is the unit from the front. The uh, microphone socket there, volume up and down, P1, P2, programming buttons, power on and off, channel A. Uh, plus and minus, and uh, I guess that's the memory channel. We shall see. There are other videos online about programming this unit, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to. Uh, I'm going to see. Uh, uh, just check the output uh, levels. Here's the uh, serial number information. It's a. I think it's a W898E, 25 watts. It says there DC, 13.8 volts, and we're going to we're going to plug in a little uh, hobby grade. Uh, NICAD, uh, NICAD lithium battery to test this unit. We've just got to get an adapter just to uh, uh, put a socket to plug that lead into. So the microphone feels um, fairly decent quality, really. That's focusing okay. You know, for, for what you're paying. I mean, this I, I haven't bought this unit, but I know that from looking uh, on eBay, you can pick these up for uh, for anywhere between forty and fifty pounds. So. Um, I think that's quite reasonable for a little radio if you just want to sling it in the car and uh, USB lead. Uh, but we shall see. We shall see what kind of uh, what kind of power output uh, it, it gives us. One thing I did notice: the unit was quite light. So just popped it on the scales. It's weighing in here at 316 grams, 317 grams. So that's pretty uh, pretty lightweight. Um, it feels yeah, that's a sort of a, a diecast type body. So this part is metal, this front section is uh, definitely plastic. So it looks fairly robust, I'm not so sure, so sure it would uh, take too much abuse. But uh, I suppose for the most part it would be uh, it would be hidden underneath your dash inside your car, so it probably would be okay. And just because we can, and while we've got the scales here, I thought I'd wear the mic. That's 147 grams, if that interests anybody. Just for interest, I've hooked up a uh, power watt meter there, so we can look on the... We have got the radio on at the minute, and we can look at the... the it's so... The, the, the current consumption is so low, the meter doesn't actually even detect it, but we'll, I was going to... thought it might be interesting just to see um, how that varies with the transmitted power output. Right. OK, we've actually got the... Uh, got the unit plugged into a proper power supply now so this is the on VHF this is the low power setting the low power setting it should be 5 watts and as you can see we're on this range here the middle range 20 there as you can see 5 watts I'll do it again 5 watts so that's, that's absolutely on the nail as it says on the box so let's uh, let's up the power and try again Right, we've gone up to the mid setting now. This should be this should be uh, a ten watts, so as near as near as uh, damn it. Other system co-channel there. This uh, the front end of this radio does get overloaded when it's on the big twig uh, outside. So let's gear it up now. As you can see, bang on ten watts, absolutely bang on. We've got thirteen point eight volts, and if you want to use this mobile, I'll let you know the the current draw here. 1.7 amps that's pulling 1.7 amps amps to provide 10 watts of power um, so that's absolutely on the nail um, there's the it's one of the first radios I've actually had that actually uh, a cheap Chinese radio that actually does 
output the power that it actually says on the box. Right, we'll up it to, I'm not going to show you that because uh, it's just in the menu, just press menu and then you can go and change the power. I'll up the power and then we'll see what it's like on full power. Right, we've up the power now. Um, we're on the, the, the higher scale there, the 200 watt setting there and let's try that. Yeah, that's, I'd say bang on 25. Probably nearer 30. Um, so that's that's reasonable. I'll just quickly show the mic if it will focus. Um, it's got a backlit uh, orange on the keys, which is quite nice. That looks quite legible, actually. And then volume up, volume down on the side. Uh, if I get that to focus. Right, we'll, um, we'll, we'll try it on UHF. Right, we're on uh, we're on UHF and we are on the low power setting now uh, and we'll try that. We're on the 20 watt scale uh, as you can see there, 20 watt scale and we'll see what kind of deflection we're getting off that. Okay, that looks about 3 watts, 3 watts on UHF and we're getting, and that's using about 0.8 of an amp off of the supply, so it's slightly less than on BHF. So, so it's slightly less power, but that's that's to be expected considering considering the frequency jump. There we go. Right, we'll up the power and try again. Right, we've um, up the power just slightly now, and um, we uh, we are on. We should be on 10 watts. We'll try that. Okay, you can see we're getting about seven watts again. We're on the 20 watt scale. There, we're getting roughly seven watts. Let's go again. Yeah. Okay. Um, current draw on that, we'll just test that. That's 1.59 amps, 1.59 amps, okay. Right, we'll whack it up to full power. Right, I'm going to guess that we're not going to get uh, 25 watts, so we're going to stick with the 20 watt scale here, and this is high power uh, test. So you can see we're getting about 17 watts there, but still that's really respectable because um, I would never expect the uh, the power to be that high on UHF. Um, but on VHF it was absolutely what as it was uh, out of the box, so um, or out of the manual. So that's absolutely spot on. Uh, current draw on this setting is 3.12 amps. So if you are going to run the unit on a uh, on a battery such as this one I've got for testing on a out and about. Um, it gives you some idea of, uh, of, the, of the current draw you're going to get with the unit. Uh, although uh, it may be a bit too windy to test today, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, that's pretty decent. Um, it, there, I, I get some very, very strong signals locally from a beacon near me. So I don't know, the front end of this might be getting a little bit overloaded. Uh, but again, that's to be expected. But that's, that's pretty impressive. So. Um, We'll take it out, we'll take it out, out and about and do the usual test on it and see how it fares. Right, we're out here about six miles as the crow flies uh, with the Lycian BV898E. Uh, we've got the SDR running there. Uh, I'm going to start recording and we're going to try it in low power first. So this is the, uh, this is on five watts. So we'll just have a start it recording. There we go. This is G7 LNK Mobile with the Lycian VV8980 on 5 watts. Okay, right, we'll just stop that now. And then we'll go and uh, change the power. Right, we've, um, we've changed the power now, we're on 10 watts. And uh, we're going to start the SDR recording here. Let's click record. Okay, this is G7 LNK Mobile with the Lycian VV898E on 10 watts. Hey, this is G7 LNK Mobile with the Lycian VV898E on 10 watts. Alright, let's stop the recording. And let's put it up to 25. Right, we're on high power now, we're on 25 watts and uh, get the recording going again, here we go. Right, this is G7 LNK Mobile with the Lycian VV8980 on 25 watts. This is G7 LNK Mobile with the Lycian VV8980 on 25 watts. Right, um, just as a direct comparison, we've got the Yaesu FT8900R, a proper, proper nice radio, uh, dual band. Um, 
we've got this out here just to see how it compares to the to the uh, to the Lycian. Um, you know it's a good comparison this will output similar power levels um, but this will do uh, 5 10 and 20 and 40 watts I think on on UHF so we're going to try this one okay let's get the SDR recording and see what we come up with this is starting on low power right here we go this is G7 LNK mobile with the ASU FT8900R recording at 5 watts This is G7 LNK Mobile with the ASU FT8900R uh, recording at 10 watts. To the next power, this is 20 watts. This is G7 LNK Mobile with the ASU FT8900R recording at 20 watts. Recording at 20 watts. Right, quite a few people have asked. This is um, this is my Nexus 5, and we've got um, an RTL SDR uh, dongle plugged in, and we're using SDR Sharp, which is freely available software to record the baseband audio and RF frequency spread right over about a three meg a three meg gap here. And uh, I'm just going to keep in the car, and you'll see that you'll see the waveform appear just as as we do it live. So this is my this is running on my machine back at base, back at home, six miles away. This is G7 LNK mobile testing, and you can see the waveform, and then in the waterfall there, you can see my carrier drop. Okay, because uh, people have asked, and uh, I thought I would just make it clear. It's not recording on the phone here, but we, we're going to be. I'm going to take a screenshot of that off of the computer when I play it back a bit later on. And uh, this is a good idea if you ever have a problem with the um, your coax flapping about on your roof. I just got some little suckers off of eBay there, cable tie on the top because I found on my old car it was actually the cable as it was rubbing on the paint, it was scratching the paint. So if you do have a mag mount and you do have that problem, that's a good solution to that problem. Right, I think we're all done here now. I just had a quick, um, a quick playback of the uh, recordings on the SDR remotely using TeamViewer because that's what I'm using on the phone, and they all sound like they come through fine. Um, it started to rain here, lovely. Um, so we might as well go back and just have a little look and um, and see. But um, I have to say I'm impressed. This um, this looks really, really good. A really, a really good little unit for the money. Um, you know there are the variants of this out so don't be confused there is a 898 which is the lower power version this is the uh, the 25 watt version and um, as we found from the from the test there it definitely definitely does put out 25 watts and I'm not even you know I've not even tested it at the the high or low ends of the of the spectrum there I've just stuck it in the middle and uh, and it's worked so um, yeah that, that's that's a really good little unit really really good I mean I don't know how it matches up audio wise to this we'll find out uh, when we go back but um this has obviously got a lot more features and is much more sophisticated radio but i mean if you're just after something that you just sling in the car that's going to get get you that extra bit of uh, power to get uh, where you want to get then uh, you can't really knock that really